could be these are the students of the Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering, Obafemi Aola University, Ilife, Nigeria. We are presenting our E206 Math Lab project under the supervision of Dr. Akin Wali or La Wali. With me is my group leader, Okoli Henry, and the rest of my group members will be introduced in the further parts of this project. I will be Daniel will be taking you through the first half of this project. Um, this is a gender classification using speech recognition project and we use the gated recurrent unit network for this. Now gated recurrent unit network is simply just the, um, the variant of an RNA network or a neural network. And what it does is that it extracts features from an input. It could be a facial input, an audio input or a text input. Then what it does with those inputs is that it extracts features from it and classifies those features and classifies those unique features and it uses those features to make predictions. So um, my group member here will give you further explanation of the project. Yeah, my name is um, Peter Emmanuel Ame. Just like he has rightly said, we are exploiting the features of the GRU network to make predictions on our gender classification projects. So now the code is divided into two parts. We have one that runs the main code, which is the GNU network, and has the make audio function embedded into it. So now this is it now. So let's write on. So the make audio function has the following characteristics. So the first one is the audio recorder function, which records voice at 48 kilohertz. So the reason why we use the 48 kilohertz frequency sample rate is because our pre-trained model has voices recorded at the rate of 48 kilohertz. So we use the system bit sample model and just one audio channel, which is our microphone. So we have the display, which tells you to start speaking. We pause for two minutes in case there are any abnormalities before you start speaking. So we also have the record blocking function, which embeds into it the audio recording functions. And we are taking the voice sample at just five seconds. So now I have the display hand recording. So now it's very intuitive to get our audio data using the get audio data function which 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 gets the features of our voices so we have to audio write whatsoever with whatsoever what, what the features we've gotten from the data is so we have we actually and um, implemented this by using the audio 2.wab so we are saving whatsoever the audio is into like using an audio using a wav file function so now we have to get our audio and we have the p dot sample rates which are the two major characteristics that helps in creating the audio wave function. So now we have the sound, it sounds back whatsoever we're speaking to it. And now the most interesting part of this project is we actually left the time domain frequency. We, we left the time series parts and we are actually dealing with the frequency domain. So by using the Fourier transform and we perform a Fourier transform by using the FFT function and by using the get our audio function. And my friend here, my other colleague here, which is then Damola, will show you how the code works. Hello, I'm Damola, and I'm just going to quickly show you how the code runs. And after I run the code, I'll be speaking for five seconds to just show you how the code. After it displays, start speaking, so I'll talk. Hello, I'm Damola, and I'm here speaking. I'm a boy, obviously, and I hope you recruit me. Yeah, yeah. so okay. let's see. I'm a boy. Uh, Firstly, this is the plot recognize. of the code. This is the voice plot in the frequency domain. It shows the amplitude and the frequency, the amplitude against frequency. And that is all. My colleague here will continue from here. Oh, I'm Ola Biotemi and I'll continue from here. So we move over to the GRE network, which is one of the major parts of the code. And here we use the full five function to find out our gender classification, we have to locate our gender classification that must have been downloaded from our MATLAB documentation. And this folder, we use this part from our from our system to find our gender classification folder, and we save it to a variable in our MATLAB in our MATLAB part, wait, in our MATLAB called this folder as a variable. And also, we need the gender ID net.mat, which is a function which is inside this gender classification folder and we need to save it to another variable which we do using the same full file function as full file in the bracket of the next folder as you can see here then we load it 
so it can be used and the things which are inside it our elements which are inside it can be used for further analysis and as you can see we have another set of matrices here as M and also S which are other matrices which will be used in further analysis and we also call in our make audio tool which has been used by our friends earlier okay now i'm opening and read the blueprint and i'll be taking you through the remaining part of this function at the end we'll be testing if it's working or not with the mail and also if you may watch so this is an audio in this is audio in an fs we have the um audio read function we have the audio read function which we use to read the function and uh, we used to read the audio function i'm sorry i was just correcting to see if you can see here the make audio one and make audio one is not meant to be two i'm very sorry for that that graph error so our audio in um this is we use the audio read function to read the already written the already written file here yes in the make audio one function so we have audio written our audio 2.12 and now we are reading it we have after writing it we read it so after reading it we set our boundaries we use the text speech now when i speak there are some points in which i break like when i start to correct this audio from two to one that was a break so the text which we separate it actually matlab takes in the breaks at zeros so it will separate the zeros from the integers and we use these boundaries to set the matrix difference between them and we store this in a variable called audio in after setting our boundaries here we stored the already set matrix form of the boundary set boundaries one and boundaries two we store it in audio in now the audio feature extractor does a lot of stores which i might not explain because of time the audio feature extractor extracts features of the audio and compares it in a way to the gender it doesn't actually compare it just say it stores the features of the audio and it extracts it into the file named extractor it just extract the features of the audio after taking some further transformations now we have the features this is where we want to get the main features of our audio we have already extracted some features and we need to extract other features so we extract the features already extracted from the extractor and that of the audio in now we come to the features here and we features already a matrix form is already in a matrix form now we take the transpose using the dot and the column as you see what i've highlighted here we take the transpose of the matrix and we take a way we subtract from the matrix the matrix m and we perform the element wise division of the matrix s which has been defined and which we have we have loaded as you can see from this up here yes that has it so now we just after taking this we classify after we classify we print out the agenda is whatever the gender gives you so now i'll be testing the male voice which is me as the group leader i think my voice is male enough masculine enough so now i'm running the code uh, hello my name is okuli henry and i am a man thank you very much and i am so it shows that i am male and already print and already to that my voice is made it as recognized so i need to clear again now there's a female with me here and she's going to speak hope you are doing well yes okay thank you so i'm running the code now hello i'm comfy and i'm a programmer too thank you and i'm a programmer okay so we recognize that she is female so our code runs and um thank, thank you for what you see. the gender classification file should be added in the description below we have to get it from the matlab documentation this http slash something matlab something html something will be added in the description below thank you for staying with us and we love you thank you very much